All right, and in the left position as the purple Zerg, we do have Nemu. And at the bottom position as the yellow Terran, we have Marwin. Uh, no game, your set will be uh, coming up after this. And all righty, there we go. Does everything look good? I think everything looks good. If anything looks wrong, guys, do yell at me. Akro says, you owe Lucky Noob for that sub. Well, thank you to both Akro and Lucky Noob uh, for your support. It is indeed most appreciated. So it looks like, whoa, what, what just happened there? I like double clicked on the minimap. Um, looks like Nemu is gonna scout in the wrong direction here uh, with his Overlord. And we'll have to see what Marwin does here. Um, so Tau Cross, I mean, it's not too crazy, but again, in ZBT, since there's no ramps or anything, it's a little, you have to be a little bit more careful when you take that third, maybe uh, just, you know, uh, especially if you're facing like a, a plus one five racks, definitely got to make sure you're on top of that Muta Micro on top of, uh, on top of keeping the Terran pinned back into his base. And, whoop, looks like there was a bit of a pause. It was like Barracks in a pretty normal position. I mean, this all kind of is pointing towards a one racks expand here from Marwin. I think Marwin's a pretty, pretty standard player. So, uh, so that's all good. And it looks like that we're gonna have a fast gas here from Nimu. He actually went something like an overpool into gas. So presumably this means he is gonna go for a two hatch something. If I had to guess, I would say a two hatch muta build, which is also quite strong. I guess that also kind of plays into what I was just talking about, where you know, you, if you go for these early aggro builds, you can much more safely get a third base. Like if you go with two hatch muta and get do a ton of damage, you don't even need to take another main, right? You can even take like the closer third and just constantly keep map control against the Terran. I guess we'll we'll see what he goes for. Meanwhile, Marwin is uh, definitely going for that fast expand build and is not gonna scout Nemu, so he's not actually gonna see that's a two hatch for a little while here. Although I think it's I think it's still too early for him to, I mean, make any use of that situation. I mean, if you're going for like a, a one racks expand into whatever, I don't think you would even necessarily change your build anyway after seeing this because, you know, I mean, plus one five racks is fine against, uh, against two hatch anyway, I think, right? So, a couple of Zerglings actually going to chase this away. Actually, this this SCV doesn't get into the main base, but oh wait, never mind. He's gonna he's gonna do the loop de loop here, and it looks like uh, it looks like Nimu is gonna completely ignore the SCVs and go for the counterattack. But you can already see a bunker being made here. Marwin actually see he was gonna make a command center, but he decides to build the bunker first, having seen these early Zerglings. Uh, you know, seeing that Zergling timing, he knows it was a, a pool first build, not a twelve hatch. So just slightly concerned here. He's got 500 minerals, really needs to start this command center though. You know, you don't want to get too far behind, just getting scared by these early links. And now the SCV is indeed going to see the uh, the fast two hatch lair here from Nemu. It's going to be difficult for Nemu to kill this SCV. Yeah, he didn't get speed. So... He didn't get speed, right? Yeah, he didn't get speed. So this, this SCV is going to see exactly what's going on. It's going to see the spire timing. Uh, he's going to know exactly what Nimi's doing, exactly when the mutas are going to hit his base. Now, the natural on uh, on Tau Cross is pretty harassable, you know, you've got like the cliff on the side and all the way around the back. Um, the mutas can also kind of like fly around here and try to abuse the uh, the choke between the bases, you know, even try and maybe camp the barracks here, just do a little bit of harassing here. Uh, so there's definitely some, some good places. Uh, the main may be not the best, something was just cancelled, some, some egg just exploded for some reason. Um, the main, it has a lot of space around it, so maybe this is not that easy to harass. Uh, there's, there's plenty of space for turrets and stuff and for marines to run around. But around the natural and around the barracks is definitely a good target, I would say. Looks like SV also going to see that Sunken has been finished to stop any early aggression. But there's no early aggression coming from, uh, from Marwan. Now Marwan now opting for the Turax Academy build against against his opponent here. 
which is just fine. And I think we're just gonna have to wait for these mutas to come out to see some action. It looks like uh, it looks like Nemu might have messed up the build somehow because it seems he was short one larva. Like it looks like there's only two mutas making here and three at the natural. I mean, normally you're supposed to have all six mutas coming out together, right? Similar to when you go three hatch muta, you want to save up your larva so you have nine muta coming out together. So he must have uh, cancelled something maybe from one of these or something. And was actually short a larva. So he's going to come out with only five mutas initially. Now you might think that that's not a huge deal, but how many mutas does it actually take to one-shot an SCB? Uh, Because six... Because six, actually, wait a minute, six mutas doesn't even one-shot an SCB, right? Because six times nine is 54, right? And an SCB has 60 HP, so you actually even need seven mutas to even be able to one-shot an SCB. So I guess actually five versus six doesn't make the biggest difference. So I guess you can still one-shot the Marines. Yeah, maybe I'm, maybe I'm being a little bit too, too calculation-y about this. Anyway, we've got seven mutas now. For Nemu. So now he should be able to one shot the SCVs if every muta does fire, but he's actually going for the Marines here. And. Oh. Splitting his fire a little bit. You know, it's actually interesting. I was watching Scan Stream the other day, and he pointed out that um, when you have like seven or fewer muta, instead of using hold position to, to release the, the Glaive Worms, you actually should, uh, should focus fire on individual Marines in order to make sure they all attack the same one and you one shot them. And once you get to like 9 or 10 mutas, like with 3 hatch muta, then you can start using the hold position micro. But actually, the, the, the type of micro you use should be different depending on the number of mutas you have uh, in order to, you know, get the focus fine correctly. I thought that was extremely interesting, actually. Very good point there. Uh, but look at this. Oh man, nice move by Nimu coming in with a couple of links, actually helping him grab these two turrets at the natural. Really, really nice move. All of the Marines were still in the main base, and Marwin having to abandon his natural here. Uh... Due to that attack, although it looks like uh, the Lynx have all died, and he should be able to, to take this back with his Marines. Got a decent number here, although he's taking... Oh my god, there's actually... A, with 11 Muta, though, he's going to take a lot of damage. Although, oh my god, two more Mutas dying right there, and the scan as well to give vision on the high ground. Nice little catch by, uh, by, by Marwin there. Nimu, how far along? Okay, his plus one attack is almost going to be finished. Uh, usually when you go 2-hatch muta, you actually, or not, maybe not usually, but very often when Zerg goes 2-hatch muta, you, de you see them uh, get this plus one attack, really make the uh, make the aggression worth it. However, uh, Nemu, god, I, just, I can't remember who's playing here. Nemu seems to be semi-all-in on this attack, because look at the minimap, he seems to have very little in his bases. Look at this, very few drones at his natural. Very, I mean, not very few, but not that many drones at his main either, and no sign of a third base. He's still making more muta. Nimu feels like he's all in on this two hatch muta against Marwin. So as long as Marwin can just defend and not die, he should really be in good shape here. Nimu's economy is really quite poor right now, but he is definitely abusing this high ground. You can see focusing most of his attention around the natural. He went into the main at first, kind of drew the marines there, so he could do that nice uh, backstab move at the natural. Uh, but Marwin, meanwhile, wow, no factory yet though, so he's not going to be able to, you know, there's no timer, there's no science vessel coming anytime soon to really, to really put a stop to this. It's just going to come down to the marine versus muta control here, and Nemu is getting more and more mutas here. This looks really bad for Marwin here, that's like a control group and a half of mutas. Eventually, and, and he's got plus one glaive worms as well. Like, eventually, if he gets enough, he can just attack move in with zerglings, and he's getting carapace, look at this. And no third base. Nemu is definitely all in on Mulisks right now. He's got two control groups here. Not full control groups, but they are two groups. You can see them splitting up a little bit. But that actually makes that actually makes the micro a lot harder. You can see two control group mood in micro is way more than twice as hard as controlling one group. You know, it gets exponentially more difficult to actually micro these. So Nemu taking a significant amount of damage and now going into the main base, but look at this, the marine army of Marwin coming out, gonna grab a couple of muta reinforcements, looks like, no, not quite going to grab one, I can't believe Marwin is actually going for the counterattack though, because look at this, the muta's coming in, look at the minimap, the marines are barely halfway across, it'll take them way too long to actually get across the map, but it looks like Nemu realizing that these marines could actually just kill his entire base, and needs to defend, well, I cannot believe this didn't just 
end with the Terran dying to the Mutas. Look, so many turrets in the main base, so many turrets being made. A factory finally coming up here, and it's gonna come down to the big Marine versus Muta battle. Plus one attack done for both sides. Plus one Carapace is on the way for the air. No plus one armor on the way. Finally, just started for Marwin, additional Sunkens being made for Nemu, and this is what he needed, and you can see now he's happy to go in. He's actually gone in with some Zerglings once again to finish off these turrets, to kill these turrets for his Mutalists. The bunker is actually empty, but Marwin is going into the natural. The Muta attack, the Mutas are going after the bunker, the Marines are going after the Sunkens. It's both sides are just going for the kill here. It's gonna be kind of a base race, I guess, and you can see the Sunkens are not gonna be enough to hold against that many Marines, and it looks like Nemu, Nemu, in this game of chicken, he is the one who has swerved away first. He is the one has, who has gone back, but that means he is the one that's going to lose out on the exchange because he's going to lose his hatchery. He's unable to, to kill the command center, obviously, even though he did stop all the mining, killed all the turrets there. And now, can he actually take down all these plus one marines? That's a very scary marine force, but he does have two groups. He's got 19 muta, it seems. 19 muta against only like 13 marines. I'm surprised he doesn't just attack them all into it. He's actually trying to micro. I mean, surely he can just attack with both groups. Yeah, there we go. Now he can just brute force it down. But oh man, nice target firing from Marwin. Man, Marwin taking down a couple more Muta there. He's going to get one more. He does get one more. Oh my god. Really, really nice use of those uh, of those last of those last Marines. And now Nemu is down to just a single hatchery. And crucially, that means a single gas. You can see he's really hurting on the gas income right now. And Marwin's still mining happily from two bases. He's now finally getting an SCB scout out to actually see what is happening. Is there a hidden third, Zerg third somewhere? I don't think he's had the time to actually check what's going on here. But looks like now the Muta's coming in yet again here. Not that many anymore though. It looks like it's down to about 15. I thought there were like 20 something before. And he's actually going to go and brute force it. There's only two medics here. Can he actually do it? This is extremely close. But it looks like actually the Mutas are falling. Marwin might hold. Nemu cannot afford this. Even though it's an even exchange, exchanging a muta for exchanging mutas for marines evenly is absolutely not what you want to do. And Nemu plummeting to five mutalists. He's at 31 supply against 41. Still very low supply count for both players. But Nemu, the one who needed to win with the mutas, he's actually gotten a hydrogen now to potentially switch. But and he's actually double expanding. I think he realizes that the muta all in is over. It's completely over with that attack. It was over. I mean, his plus one armor finishes now, but he's lost almost all of his mutas. He's down to six again. And, uh... And now he's just, like, trying to find a good angle here, but a nice scan there from Marwin completely pushes him out. You can see the SCP seeing nothing here. There's there's a double expand here. Actually, it looks like this hatchery has finished. We're finally going to have some actual lurkers. But look at this. The lurker tech only just starting. He's just been so low on the gas that he wasn't able to actually do the switch. And Nemu is trying to just find a way back into this game, I think. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think it's that big of a difference still. I mean, yes, Terran is definitely ahead, but I don't think this game is over. It's just, it's just gonna be difficult for Nemu. Especially because how slow these lurkers are as well. Like, oh man, look at this, the Marine's coming out now. Oh man, if those, if that lurker tech was like a little bit faster, I think Nemu could actually hold that with just the lurkers and keep using the mutas to harass. But right now, these Marines could potentially just kill him outright. He doesn't have, he doesn't have lurker tech. He can't make lurkers. Lurker research is not finished. I think Nemu, Nemu needs to pull the mutas back and start harassing the Marines or something. I don't know what he's gonna do. Oh my, Nemu. D did he not see this? He's got four Hydras out on the map. Oh no. Oh no, Nemu now realizes the trouble that he's in. The Marines stimming into his natural. Gonna kill it yet again for sure. One SCV being a hero, trying to kill some drones. Not gonna happen, but the natural expansion is completely dead. And now Nemu trying to do some micro in the pack. He's down to five though. He might lose another one, not quite, but there goes the hatchery for a second time. And now the Marines fight running into the base. Finally, the lurker eggs are morphing, but if you get if you get surrounded by Marines like this, the Marines can actually surround the eggs and kill the lurkers exactly as they spawn. He's actually gonna do it. He's gonna cap the eggs. There the lurkers go. Are the lurkers gonna be able to borrow? There's a huge drone transfer. What the heck was that? I guess he needed, he wanted to just save the lurkers with a drone transfer. 
or something. He didn't actually hit stop, though. They didn't actually bug out on the dudes. He's actually gone into the natural with two counter lurkers, but his entire his main hat, his main layer is gonna fall. He's lost the layer. Oh my god. <laughs> and he's doing the classic blaming the lag. GG from Nemu. And Marwin takes game number one in favor of Team I, uh, IFU.